Another example of the utility of the log scale is a model such as this one in which we're looking at the electric fields around somebody climbing up a high voltage pole. And it, there may be different interests here as to what is considered problematic. If you're concerned purely with a uh, flashover type of issue or sparking, then you'll be looking for where the field is very high, and the linear scale is very good at showing that. However, a lot of people may be concerned about the fields inside the body, even though they're much smaller than that. The fact that they're inside the body, lower fields may be considered a concern. By switching to the log scale, the plot now shows much broader red areas because the red covers a larger order of magnitude, but now you can clearly look inside the body and identify colors such as this, this shade of blue with a particular value of the field as well. A final plot to look at here to show one other useful feature quite often in plots is this profile plot on a generic model of two electrodes at plus and minus one volt. The thing that very often happens with plots is that the plot itself obscures the geometry that you're trying to look at. So with a case like this, as we rotate the profile plot around, we see that either the cube or the sphere become hidden by the plot itself. So on the options menu, we have an option to change the transparency level. If we make the transparency higher here, then we can look through the plot in order to see the geometry. And here we can now clearly see through the plot to see the cube or the sphere at different rotations of the model. So the plot itself is not hiding the geometry that we're trying to look at with this option. One other aspect to the plots that you look at is the general background and underlays that you may be using, which aren't directly the plot, but influence the overall impression. The plot that we've been looking at is coloring the geometry according to the boundary condition. It appears pink to indicate that voltages are applied. We can change the underlay to materials or media, and in this case we see red for the electrode that is assigned as copper and blue for the electrode that was assigned as a aluminum. We can also choose other underlays such as the outline which it simply shows the geometry in gray. You may also want to play with the overall color schemes, the general background color as well as the exact colors that are going to be used in the color scale. This will be discussed more in the next part.